What's up guys? Welcome back to the Canada e hub channel. My name is Wolo and I'm so excited because in some hours time it will be the 153rd anniversary of Canada. Yes, Canada is 153 years old. Yay! I'm so excited because I'm going to go out. Yes, and I am wearing my Canada Proud. Yes, I think it's Canada Proud t-shirt. Yes, I am proud of living in Canada. <laughs> Don't worry. I know you guys one day you will all come to this land and you get to enjoy the things I enjoy And you know, I love talking about immigration and life in Canada and all what's not about Canada I balance it out. Sometimes I show you the bad side of Canada and also tell you the good side of Canada as well So if this is the first time you actually seen this video, just you know, click on the subscribe button I mean, let's get this channel to 50,000. Please try let's push the channel to 50,000. I have done several videos. I am thankful for all of you guys. Even today there was a good news that um, came up. The IRCC are now processing um, visitors visa to Canada. So if you are interested in visiting Canada, you can now apply for your visiting visa It is strictly an online application. So you cannot send a paper application. It's an online application anywhere you are in the world if um, wherever you are requires an electronic travel authorization you have to apply for an, an ETA and um, yeah so that's the good news but the thing is because of COVID um, the rules are still in place in terms of allowing people to come into Canada so you can get the visa but you will not be allowed into Canada until the government announces that the borders are open for people to start coming to Canada. So that's good news. Yes. So if you want to apply for a visiting visa, go ahead and apply. But of course, you know you have to meet the requirements. I've done a video on um, visitors visa, work permit, permanent resident. I think I'll put the link in the description box of this video so that you can look at it very well. Watch the video and then assess yourself. And for those who want to come to Canada as visitors and do not really have the necessary documentation, I mean, don't waste your time applying for visiting visa. It's just a waste of time because if they look at these things and you do not really qualify or you're not really eligible and they feel that you, if you come to Canada, you will not be able to return back to your country, they will not grant you the visa. So that's one information there. This second part of the video is uh, dedicated to people who are 40 years and above. I've already done a video for people who are 35 years on how they can immigrate, how they can increase their comprehensive ranking score. I'll also put the link of the video in the description box of this particular video. So if you know you're 35 years and above, I recommend you watch that video. Anyway, in summary, I was actually talking about um, people learning French so that they can improve their scores and people... Um, writing the IELTS exam, getting the highest band so that they can improve their scores and be eligible for provincial nominations. Of course, people who are 35 years and above, some of them are getting provincial nominations and um, they, are all, they are also coming to Canada. And we know that Canada wants younger people. That's why they give more points to people who are 30 years and below and have good educational qualifications like um, a master's. But there's also the aspect of the federal skills trades, which does not really require a higher qualification. And if you're into trades, you can take advantage of that. I've already done a video concerning the trades and I'm still like researching, you know, this thing takes a lot of time. So um, let me just say this here. If you've sent me an email, I have not responded. Please bear with me. I have a huge project coming up in the month of July and it's going to really take my time. I don't even know if I'll be uploading videos um, on a weekly basis. So I'm just announcing it now. If you don't see any response from me, there's no point sending a reminder. I'll take my time to read it because I have something that is very important to me and I need to focus on that. Anyway, so back to what I was saying. So today's video is about people who are 40 years and above and are looking to immigrate to Canada and uh, no thanks to the way the system is built because it is trying to favor younger people who will have a longer time in the workforce compared to people who are closer to their retirement. This is not age shaming anybody, but they are considering younger people so that they can work more compared to people who have like maybe 20 years to retirement, please. Yeah. Anyway, 
So this video is for people who want to come to Canada and are 40 years old and are finding it difficult to like get the required scores for express entry and also for provincial nomination. Of course, you know provincial nomination is also competitive and they have their own um, requirements. Each province is unique. For Manitoba, it's quite easy. If you have a sibling who is living in Manitoba, anybody who is 40 years and above can still immigrate for someone to get the highest points for age in manitoba is from 19 to 45 years old yes it's it's that long so they get the highest point and they are able to immigrate especially if they have a sibling or a cousin or um i, I don't want to use the word friend because i know that since for the last two years it's been difficult for friends to actually get a nomination from manitoba what i would encourage anybody who is 40 years and above to do is to um talk to their younger ones if you have a younger sibling who is 30 years and below and the younger sibling has a master's degree I encourage that person to immigrate to canada using the federal express entry federal skilled workers program you know for such group of people they can live anywhere in canada except quebec so once they immigrate to Canada, they should just land directly in Manitoba and it's better to even live in maybe any of the communities that is outside Winnipeg so that you can get more points. So once your younger sibling leaves in Manitoba for one year, the younger sibling will be eligible to support your application even if you're 40 years, 45 years, as long as your occupation is in demand and then uh, you'll be able to get a provincial nomination and come into Canada. And that is what I actually did. I saw different provinces, but I decided to choose to come to Manitoba because of the advantage it has in supporting family members application. So if you have a cousin uh, that is younger and the person is already preparing to come to Canada, just encourage your cousin to land in Manitoba instead of landing in Ontario or Alberta. As long as it is not a provincial nomination if it is just the federal express entry tell the person to land in Manitoba first and then spend one year you should be getting support from that family member and um, that will help you immigrate to Canada this is what some other persons have done um, for people who have lived in Canada for some years they just saw that uh, living in Ontario living in Vancouver is not helping them bring their siblings to Canada and they decided to just come to live in Manitoba for a while just to give them that advantage of supporting the application of their siblings or their family members. So that's a tip there. If you do not have a younger sibling, look for a younger cousin. Look for at least one family member of yours that is younger and has a master's degree and encourage the person, you know, that one person alone can bring in like 20 people or 30 people at once if, as long as the person is living in Manitoba. The second way of immigrating for people who are 40 years and above is through education. Now, I men I'm mentioning education because I know that there are lots of people who have immigrated to Canada using this way of coming into Canada. And um, these people have really established themselves back in their home country and they have enough um, reasons to show that they can return back to their home country. I'll give a typical example. So my friend, um, immigrated last year and this year will be her first year anniversary in Canada I think June this month will be her first year anniversary in Canada uh, back home she was a baker she already had a master's but she decided to start a side hustle so she was a baker she was also working and then she was trying to grow her side hustle in baking and she had this um, Instagram page and also the website to showcase the kind of crafts she has done with her baking and when she applied for a study visa to come and you know fine-tune her craft in baking she got the visa last she got the visa in yeah she got the visa last year and she landed June last year so that's one typical example she also was a member of an international baking association you know she had done some courses and she was able to prove that she will return back to her home country and she was given the visa so that's another tip for people who want to come through education if you want to come through education and you've already reached the peak of your career you already have your masters you already have everything going for you why don't you start a side business that's going to be lucrative in your home country start a side business update your website update your social media accounts with all the things that you do with your side business and then look for a school in canada that has the course 
that will help you improve on that side business and use your side business as a strong tie and then you can get the visa but of course there are other requirements that have to go with you getting the visa as well but you need to assess yourself very well that you sh you're sure you're going to get the visa before you start establishing all these things so that's another tip there if you know you are re you seriously really need to come to canada and you want to come as a student it is very important to have something that will really show to the visa officers that you can go back to your home country after your studies you have a thriving business that will make you return back to your home country after your studies so that's the second tip there this third tip i'm going to give is for people who have children yes i know some 40 years and above they already have kids that are like 15 16 70 years old about to enter the university and if you have the funds it is best to send the child to come to school in canada once the child is a student in canada you can actually apply for a visiting visa to visit your child and once you come as a visitor to visit your child you use the opportunity to network and then search for job opportunities uh, that can give you a work permit once you do that and you get a work permit you can use that as an opportunity to you know stay in canada work in canada for one year after one year you're now eligible for the canadian experience class so that's a tip there that i've given to people and i know so many people do that they actually send their younger children to come school in canada and then apply to come visit their children if you do not want to go through the route of visiting your child in canada um you just have to wait for a longer period yes you just have to wait because this pathway is actually very long you have to wait for your child to graduate from the university and your child has to start working first and then can be eligible to sponsor you as a parent to canada under the parents and grandparents sponsorship so it's a very long process it can take as long as six years seven years before you become a permanent resident in canada but um, if you do not want to you know wait for all these years to become a permanent resident in canada you can actually come to visit your child and then look for a work permit um, or look for a job that will give you a work permit for one year and after one year you become eligible for the canadian experience class so that's a tip there and i hope that this information i have shared is useful to someone please share this video yes share this video and subscribe to this channel and i will see you in my next video thank you so much for watching and have a good day Bye bye